Second Esdras, Chapter 8 And he answered me, saying, The Most High has made this world for many, but the world to come for few. I will tell you a similitude, Esdras, and when you ask the earth, it shall say to you that it gives much mold whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold comes of. Even so is the course of this present world. There be many created, but few shall be saved. So I answered and said, Swallow then down, O my soul, understanding, and devour wisdom. For you have agreed to give ear, and are willing to prophesy, for you have no longer space than only to live. O Lord, if you suffer not your servant, that we may pray before you, and you give us seed to our heart, and culture to our understanding, that there may come fruit of it. How shall each man live that is corrupt, who bears the place of a man? For you are alone, and we all one workmanship of your hands, like as you have said. For when the body is fashioned now in the mother's womb, and you give its members, your creature is preserved in fire and water, And nine months does your workmanship endure your creature which is created in her. But that which keeps and is kept shall both be preserved. And when the time comes, the womb preserved delivers up the things that grew in it. For you have commanded out of the parts of the body, that is to say, out of the breasts, milk to be given, which is the fruit of the breasts, that the thing which is fashioned may be nourished for a time till you dispose it to your mercy. You brought it up with your righteousness and nurtured it in your law and reform it with your judgment. And you shall mortify it as your creature and quicken it as your work. If, therefore, you shall destroy him which with so great labor was fashioned, it is an easy thing to be ordained by your commandment that the thing which was made might be preserved. Now therefore, Lord, I will speak, touching man in general. You know best, but touching your people, for whose sake I am sorry, and for your inheritance, for whose cause I mourn, and for Israel, for whom I am heavy, and for Jacob, for whose sake I am troubled. Therefore will I begin to pray before you, for myself and for them. For I see the falls of us that dwell in the land. But I have heard the swiftness of the judge which is to come. Therefore hear my voice, and understand my words, and I shall speak before you. This is the beginnings of the words of Esdras, before he was taken up. And I said, O Lord, that dwells in the everlastingness, which beholds from above things in the heaven and in the air, whose throne is inestimable, whose glory may not be comprehended, before whom the hosts of angels stand trembling, whose service is conversant in wind and fire, whose word is true and sayings constant, whose commandment is strong and ordinance fearful, whose look dries up the depths and indignation makes the mountains to melt away, which the truth witnesses. Oh, hear the prayer of your servant and give ears to the petition of your creature. For while I live, I will speak, and so long as I have understanding, I will answer. Now look not upon the sins of your people, but on them which serve you in truth. Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, but the desire of those that keep your testimonies in afflictions. Think not upon those that have walked feignedly before you, but remember them which according to your will have known your fear. Let it not be your will to destroy them which have lived like beasts, but to look upon them that have clearly taught your law. Take no indignation at them which are deemed worse than beasts, 
but love them that always put their trust in your righteousness and glory. For we and our fathers do languish of such diseases. But because of us sinners, you shall be called merciful. For if you have a desire to have mercy upon us, you shall be called merciful. To us, namely, that have no works of righteousness. For the just, which have many good works laid up with you, shall out of their own deeds receive reward. For what is man that you should take displeasure at him? Or what is a corruptible generation that you should be so bitter toward it? For in truth, there is no man among them that be born, but he that is dealt wickedly. And among the faithful there is none which has not done amiss. For in this, O Lord, your righteousness and your goodness shall be declared, if you be merciful to them which have not the confidence of good works. Then answered he me and said, Some things have you spoken aright, and according to your words it shall be. For indeed I will not think on the disposition of them which have sinned before death, before judgment, before destruction. But I will rejoice over the disposition of the righteous, and I will remember also their pilgrimage, and the salvation, and the reward that they shall have. Like as I have spoken now, so shall it come to pass. For as the husbandman sows much seed upon the ground, and plants many trees, and yet the thing that is sown good in his season comes not up, neither does all that is planted take root, even so is it of them that are sown in the world. They shall not all be saved. I answered then and said, If I have found grace, let me speak. Like as the husbandman's seed perishes, if it come not up, and receives not your rain in due season, or if there come too much rain and corrupt it, even so perishes man also which is formed with your hands and is called your own image because you are like him for whose sake you have made all things and likened him to the husbandman's seed. Be not angry with us, but spare your people and have mercy upon your own inheritance for you are merciful to your creature. Then answered he me and said, Things present are for the present, and things to come for such as be to come. For you come far short that you should be able to love my creature more than I. But I have oftentimes drawn near to you and to it, but never to the unrighteous. In this also you are marvelous before the Most High, in that you have humbled yourself as it becomes you, and have not judged yourself worthy to be much glorified among the righteous. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride, and seek out the glory for such as be like you. For unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plenteousness is made ready. The city is built, and rest is allowed. Yea, perfect goodness and wisdom. The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness and the moth is hid from you, and corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. Sorrows are past, and in the end is shown the treasure of immortality. And therefore ask you no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had their freedom, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. 
Moreover, they have trodden down his righteous and said in their heart that there is no God. Yea, and that knowing, they must die. For as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to naught, but they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them, and were unthankful to him which prepared life for them. And therefore is my judgment now at hand. These things have I not shown to all men, but to you, and a few like you. Then answered I and said, Behold, O Lord, now have you shown me the multitude of the wonders which you will begin to do in the last times. But at what time you have not shown me?